How to add a user. Adding users to your workspace is relatively simple. All you need to do is go over to the top right hand corner and click on the icon with the two people. This will bring you onto a page in which you can manage your teammates. So you can add seats, remove seats and add viewers. To get started, let's add our first seat by going down to the blue button that says add seats and click. This will bring you onto a pop-up where it will show you the price per seat. It will show you what you'll receive with the seat, so 90 minutes. And it will also show you down here the total amount that's now due. The reason why the seat per month says 39, but down here the total due is 46, is because this price includes tax. You can click on the little eye icon and this will break down the price for you. You can add more seats if you wish by going up here and clicking the plus. So as you can see, that will bring a lot more seats and the total will automatically adjust right down here. Please bear in mind that all the prices will differ based on location. So I'm just going to add one seat for now. I'm going to go up. I'm going to take these off and click the one seat. Perfect. And all I need to do now is click buy seat. And now, as you can see, one out of two seats are used. So it shows that I do have two seats now. And it also shows my balance up here is now 180 minutes as opposed to 90. Now that we've added a seat, we're going to want to fill it by assigning someone to the seat. In order to do this, all we need to do is take the person's email and insert it into this field right here. Next, we're going to assign them a role. So if we go over to this menu and click, it will bring us three options. This is where things can be slightly confusing. Let me very quickly explain to you the difference between these three roles. A viewer can be added to your workspace an unlimited amount of times. You don't need to buy a seat in order to add a viewer. Viewers are only allowed to make comments and view the video. They can't upload or download. This brings us on to editor. They're allowed to upload videos, download videos and edit videos. Lastly, you've got admin. Admin can do everything that editor and viewer can do, plus much more. Admin is allowed access to the billing information and can adjust it if they need to. They also have full control of managing teammates, so they're able to add seats and remove seats. For this video, I want to make this person an editor, so I'm going to click editor. All I need to do now is just click send invite. Once the person has opened their email and accepted the invitation, they will be automatically transferred to your workspace. As you can see, the person has now been added to my workspace right down here. And if I look up here, it will tell me that both of my seats have now been filled, which means I can now no longer add any other editors or admin unless I buy seats. I can, however, still add viewers. So let me show you how to add a viewer. All I need to do is go down to this field right here and enter the email address of the person I wish to add. Check that the role is correct. It's already viewer by default. And if you actually select this drop down menu, you'll see that the editor and admin are grayed out, meaning you're unable to select either. And this is because as previously stated, both of our seats have already been filled. So let's just click viewer and then go across and hit send invite. Once this person has accepted your invitation, the number of viewers will be updated right up here. You can then proceed to go and add as many viewers as you wish. So if we add one more, as you can see, the viewer is default again, and then just go across and hit send invite. Now, if you wish to switch any user's roles, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go over to the user that you want to switch roles. So the editor right here, click the downwards arrow and select viewer. You can now then make either of these two new users your next editor. So all you need to do again is go to the arrow, click and select editor. And that's it. Both of the users' roles have now been switched over, as easy as that. And that's it. That's how to add seats and users. I hope this video has been really useful for you. Thanks for watching.